As always, don't be a hoe. Eat like Joe. Don't be a bitch. Train like Rich. I'm Joe Rich, bitch. Hope everyone's doing good. Nice sunny day out here. About to do some cardio. And we're gonna make a Q&A video. Uh, first, a lot of a lot of good Q&A, guys. Uh, the first um, Q&A comes from a J Rich five four three three eight, and uh, the question is, does Spider-Man count as macros? Fuck yeah, it counts as damn macros. Next question comes from the second name. Which programs have you followed and enjoyed um, the most since you've been working out? Also, which of them do you find best for overall strength and size? Non-periodization, periodization, 5-3 run, mad cow, fat, bro split. Tell us, bruh. Um... I haven't done 531 yet. I've done Mad Cow 5x5. That is really that is a really good program as far as both strength and size. I have run fat. That is also a lot of volume. Um, you might feel dead exhausted for like the first two weeks, but then after that your body gets used to all the volume. Bro split, yeah, I was doing a bro split for quite some time and that just that is by far the worst thing you can do. Like I mean I don't. It's like getting a flex magazine and picking that up. I don't really care for that because that's kind of um, you don't have a game plan to go in there. So, and another program that I'm running right now that I, I like the best is the E Knights Modified West Side Barbell. Um, I like killing two birds with one. I like doing squats and deadlifts on the same day, and then after that you can give your body kind of some rest because it's going to need it. Um, so I hope that answers your question. And this is one of my this is one of my favorite questions. It comes from Axe New York City, or Axe NYC. It goes here's my question. You mentioned mental state a bit in previous videos, but can you make a video or just elaborate on it more? What keeps you going on those days when you're ready to fall off the wagon? What are you thinking about? What goes? What's your mental state like? What helps you? Like if you had a hard day at work and you get home and just want to play a quick video game or something? I do love video games, and. Um, What's some food you really enjoy? What stops you from doing it? I learned that clean eating and strong mental state of mind is somewhat of a habit. Once you develop it, you stick with it. My problem is I have a very extreme personality, almost no balance. I'm either all in or nothing at all. I think the attributes to it. I either eat very clean and don't skip a gym or eat like shit and don't go at all. I can't have something bad and then go to work out. Um, Axe, that's, that question is awesome. The uh, the main the, one of the main things you have to find is balance. You have you have to find that with this sport at least. Uh, I tell people to get outside your comfort zone first. If you can get up, break outside your comfort zone, uh, get on a, a certain program, um, eat foods that aren't so clean. This journey that you're in and I'm in and everyone's in will be so much different. Now, as far as a stressful day, yeah, I might actually just go and take a ride. I, I, I like to just get in my car, turn the key, and drive, and just free my mind. I might go to, like, Barnes & a bookstore, uh, read certain books, some comic books, stuff that I enjoy outside the sport, different hobbies. And what keeps me going to, to get to that sub-4% body fat is I know people out there have it worse than us. Um... A family member has it worse than I, I have it, and he plays a part in my head every day. So just, there are people that just would like to run a set of bases on a baseball diamond or get inside of a car and drive it. They do not know what that feels like. So whenever you're down and think you have it bad, there's always someone that has it bad enough. I mean, it's all around us, all this stuff. The stuff that we... um. We take for granted, like like I just get outside of my car and I'm walking right now, and I'm gonna enjoy this sun. A lot of people are are they're strapped, you know. It's all around us. Just look around, okay. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you know, there's there's signs that we're given every day. Okay, you catch my drift, Axe. So if you want that ten percent, you got to think out. You got to think outside the box and know that people have it worse than us. And um, 
just keep pushing forward, guys. Thanks for all your Q&As. I hope you like the videos. And they're going to keep coming, guys. About to do my gym thing. I didn't eat any cereal in front of you guys, but uh, know that I'm going to. Bye.